Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Alex Kazora. Even with the first four Steelers practices not being conducted in pads, I knew there'd be storylines coming out of the team's first week. That's natural, that's expected, we drive some of those ourselves, and I have no problem with that. One story I didn't expect, though, was the outrage over Kenny Pickett's lack of reps in seven shots, the first team period of seven plays with the ball on the two-yard line. With the way some people made it out to be, it was like Mike Tomlin was committing a capital offense. The reality is that it wasn't a big deal and definitely not worthy of this story that it evolved into. First, the team didn't even run seven shots on the first day of camp, so there's nothing to even note there. The next two days, Trubisky and Rudolph got all the reps, which is kind of what happens every year. The number one and number two guys get those opportunities. There's only seven reps to go around, and generally the team rotates quarterbacks out after every four snaps. So Trubisky got four, and Rudolph got three, and there was nothing left over. And sure, there's value in situational football, but it's not that important. They're not snaps so critical that they can't be missed out on for Pickett. And Pickett finally got a crack on Saturday, finishing out the session with a nice touchdown. He will get reps. He will get time. It just takes some patience. Pittsburgh has 14 more practices to go. Again, he will get the reps. What I care about more is the number of overall reps, and those numbers there are close. Trubisky and Rudolph are out in front, yes, but only by a little. Over the first, third, and fourth practices, it sits at Trubisky at 44, Rudolph 41, and Pickett 37. Not much of a difference. Pickett is getting his chances to learn, grow, and based on the early results, make mistakes. A lack of time in seven shots is not robbing him, and in the rest of the team drills, each quarterback has gotten four reps. So none of this is a concern or a story or a talking point. If anyone is going to be mad about a lack of reps, it's Chris Oladokun, still sporting a big old goose egg four days in. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast, myself and Dave Bryan, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.